Hey everyone, Rodev here, and welcome back to your third Roblox scripting tutorial, and today we're going to be looking at functions. So let's get right into it. So first thing I want to talk about is what is a function. So say we can reduce all of this code down to just this. This is all the code we'd have to write for editing the transparency, uh, along with this, and um, we'll talk about what else we have to add in here later, but this is basically just all the code we'd have to write to edit the transparency. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how functions work and how um, you know how to make the, how to create a function, how to run it, and why they're important. So let's get right into it. This first thing I want to talk about how to create is how to create a function. So what you want to do is just type function, and then the function name. We're going to call it edit transparency, and then you want to add two brackets right here by hitting shift and nine. This will also create the second one for you. And after that, you just want to hit enter and drop a line to create an end automatically. Once you have this end here, you know you've done it right. And uh, right here, as you can see, it's automatically indented us. This arrow right here, uh, you may or may not have it. It means there's an indent. Uh, an indent is approximately four spaces. As you, as you can see, actually, I think it is exactly uh, off by a little bit. But yeah, that's how long an indent is, and basically, an indent means this is now a block of code. So anything with an indent uh, is basically just a block, so this is a block of code. Any code after is not in that block, so if I say print, hello, uh, if I say print not in, if I say print not in the block, this code is not in the block, uh, it doesn't matter what you put here by the way, this code is not in the block, and this is a block of code right there. So just something to know. Let's go ahead and look at how to run this function. So um, I'm actually going to move all of this code inside this block of code, inside this function. And uh, now let's run the game and see what happens. If I hit run, the part has not changed. Nothing actually happened. So let's go ahead and see uh, what's going on. This edit transparency function was created, but the code was never ran. Basically, uh, for functions, what you need to do is call the function in. So now I've called the function in. And if I hit run, as you can see, it changes and the transparency is 1. Uh, just so you guys can see it, I'm going to make it 0 0.5. Hit run, and as you can see, it's 0 0.5 right there. So uh, basically what's going on is, real quick, this part right here is uh, over here, and transparency in the properties is equal to 0 0.5. We've already looked at this, but basically this piece of code is being ran when we call the function. The script goes here, it says, okay, whenever someone says edit transparency, we're going to run the code inside this block. For us, this is the only code inside the block. I can also add print uh, function ran, and if I hit run, as you can see, it says print function ran even though it's, an, uh, it's not actually outside the block of code. That's because we called the function in, and so the script went, okay, they're saying this, uh, they're saying edit transparency, I'm gonna go back to the function, I'm gonna go to the first line of the function, I'm gonna execute it, I'm gonna go to the second line and execute it. So uh, it basically did that in order, it changed the transparency, and then uh, printed in the output window right here. So the next thing let's look at is uh, why functions are useful. So uh, for that, I'm going to actually create some parameters here. So if you've, ha if you've uh, heard parameter before, um, you might know what this is. But basically, uh, right here, we're going to create the first one called part. And the second one is going to be called transparency. Or, uh, yeah, just transparency. So these are two parameters. Their values, we're going to set them. And so basically, uh, what we can do is... Uh, game dot workspace dot row dev and then over here we can do 0 0.5 and in here all we have to do is part dot transparency equals uh, transparency so I'm gonna run this and you'll see the part changes to 0 0.5 and I'm gonna walk you guys through how it works so the script says okay edit transparency it's a function whatever it's called will execute the code inside the block and it knows that there are two parameters. The first parameter is called part. The script is expecting it to be a part uh, because we said part.transparency. And over here, we've passed through the parameters. So make sure your parameters are in order. First, I pass through the part and then the transparency. If I do it in the wrong order, watch what happens. We're going to do uh, game. Actually, I think I'm going to introduce you guys to this. You can just type workspace without a capital W and it works. So, yeah, it's basically just a quick shortcut Roblox made for us and it's pretty useful. Um, as you can see, we have a bunch of errors, uh, attempt to index number with transparency. That basically means uh, it tried to basically it tried to do 0 0.5 dot transparency because the first parameter is 0 0.5 and this first parameter is going to be set to 0 0.5. The names don't matter, it's just for this function only. So now I'm, I'm just going to revert everything back to what it was. 
there we go and uh, I'm sure you guys know how it works and by the way quickly I want to add these are called arguments right here and these are parameters so this parameter is going to be set to the second argument because it's the second parameter and uh, you may be wondering why we can't just simply type it out I mean it's not really that much is it uh, game.workspace.rowdev.transparency equals 0 0.5 and obviously you can already see how much of how this is really short but you can also see how this can be uh, you know used um, I'm gonna introduce you guys I'm, I'm gonna introduce you guys to the wait statement basically just type wait all our case type in a number of seconds it's gonna pause the script for that much time so right here if I set this to 0. Point, uh, let's say 85 it's gonna set it to 0. Uh, 0.5 wait uh, two seconds right here and then go to this line and execute it it's gonna set it to 0. 0.85 and as you can see, all I have to do is create a function, and there we go, it got set, barely visible, 0 0.85. And yeah, that's how that worked. So it, the function was called again. So you can see how you can call the function again and again and run that code again and again. And uh, you still may be wondering why we can't just type the full thing out. And say you wanted to run some code, but not at that time. Say you wanted to run it later in the game, and uh, you want to do that repeatedly or anything like that, you can use a function. And say the code inside here was very, very long, like this much. You obviously don't want to type this out again and again. For example, like this, like this, like this. You don't want, as you can see, that's 80 lines. We can actually just reduce that down to typing edit transparency three times because of this code inside the block is set. And after that, we could just put this here three times and all of that code, 80 lines reduced down to nine lines, just like that. So that's basically how functions work, and in the next video we're going to be looking at events. So say I was walking around and I wanted the part to you know do something. So say I came to the part, I touched it, and I wanted the part to uh, let's say kill me, a kill brick. That's basically how a kill brick works. It uses it uses an event, and when the player steps on the part, it fires the event or not fires the event, but the event uh, you know goes off and the player is killed. So basically say you want to run code uh, when something happens in your game, that's how events are going to be useful and we will be looking at, uh, looking at them in the next video. But other than that guys, make sure you comment, uh, like, and subscribe if this video did help you and you learned something about functions today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.